like I let's just get started on your on the questions for this awesome movie that you did. I loved it. It was so good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Reagan has actually become uh, knocked the right stuff, which before was my favorite movie that I've ever done because I judged my movies by the experience that I had making them. And uh, Reagan is, uh, after 40 years, toppled the right stuff off the top spot for me. So what what's the top spot? It was, but, but previously was the right stuff. Okay, okay. I haven't yeah. seen that one. But I made back in 1982, so that's 40 years ago. Over. Oh, wow, wow. Yeah. Well, I remember you in The Parent Trap. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because I was a little kid whenever it yeah, came. Yeah, I was your babysitter. <laughs> Parents, they put that movie on and played it like 40 times uh, while they were doing something else in, in the other room. <laughs> well, it was a great movie. <laughs> great movie. So I just want to ask you, how do you, how did your Christian faith, do you think, impacted your performance in this role? Uh, very much so, I, I think, you know, uh, because Reagan, uh, faith, it, you know, that was, it was, it was, it spoke to him and was part of his bedrock as, uh, as a person. And, uh, so it's very important, you know, and so my, it's also, you know, part of my bedrock and I've had my own journey about it, you know, and uh, we're all uh, uh, human beings. And that, that was a, a great way into getting to know Ronald Reagan, the person uh, for me was, was through his faith and his faith journey in life. Why did you decide to take on the role? Well, I, first I I said I said I had to think about it. I didn't say no, but I I I said I had to think about it because when it was offered it, it to tell you, it scared me. It really did. It uh, like no other role uh, that I've ever been offered. Because uh, Reagan was my favorite president, I voted for him and uh, a hero of mine. And but that's not enough of of something to, for, for me to want to do the role I, I, I Reagan you know along with like Muhammad Ali everybody knows who he is how he talked uh, you know his mannerisms and uh, so that part uh, frightened me a lot it took me a, a while I, I was invited to the western White House you know, the ranch, the Reagan ranch, which is not open to the public. And they, a uh, consortium of friends bought that place and just preserved it as it, as it was, is, is the way it is. Uh, and I went up there and coming through the gates after going up five miles of the worst road in California, <laughs> you come through the gates and you could, I could feel him there. And I realized that Reagan was a humble man. He was not a rich man, but he, there was a humbleness, a uh, humility in, in him that you know very much reflected his faith, I think. And the house itself, this is the Western White House we're talking about, was 1,100 square feet, barely a, a two-room, a two-bedroom house. They had a, a king-size bed, yes, but it was two single beds that were zip tied together. Uh, his bookshelf was filled with, uh, you really, you see that coming through the door. The first thing you see is this huge bookshelf that is filled with every book that Reagan ever had going back to nine years old. And uh, it's, uh, their clothes are in the closet, in fact left exactly as they were you expect them to come back at any time there's three three remote controllers you know back in the old days of the 90s that you had to use three controllers to get the tv to work you know and one of them goes kaprong kaprong when you when you change it and a little note from nancy on how to use it and uh <laughs> it's uh it uh, so you know i felt this humanness there and uh that's that's what 
uh, made me say yes. And that that fear that I felt was really a message that I needed to do something like that. You know, that's part of like the way God works in our life. He, you, you got to be careful what you ask God for because he just might give it to you. And that could, but not in a way that you thought. And so that fear going up my spine was actually a message, I think, uh, to get out of my comfort zone. So, do you so think, I said yes. What? Why did? Why were you scared? Was it because of the political atmosphere in the country right political now? Political, the political atmosphere, the the uh, Reagan being one, you know, so known and stuff. Uh, you know, I felt I'm going to be so judged and uh, for this, and uh, also feeling not worthy and uh, uh, that all that stuff you know, that, uh, you got to overcome and, you know, you've got to get out of your comfort zone. That's the way God works. I think, you know, Thanks. like Thanks. that's why you got to be careful about what you ask for, because <laughs> you may not want to go on that ride. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you it's think scary that... ride a little what? bit, uh, it's going to be a scary ride a little bit, but that's where you, you know, it's, it's it's things like that 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 bring you to the over overcoming yourself and 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 the joy in life, your purpose. President Reagan had a really uh, close relationship with Saint John Paul II. So, did that ever like inspire you in any way, or what were your thoughts? Right from the get go, our first our first uh, scene that we shot was in the Oval Office, and it was watching on television at, at, at Pope John Paul was shot. I said, you know, the assassination attempt that he lived through for, forgave his assassin, actually went to visit him in jail. I mean, that's really quite something. And then, you know, Reagan himself the, the, was uh, attempted to, to be uh, attempted to assassination right there uh, in his uh, first couple of months in office and completely changed the trajectory of of his presidency and the two of them were cold warriors you know it had the pope being polish uh, and uh and reagan and lech valenza and uh and margaret thatcher you know they won the cold war mm -hmm. and uh reagan was a huge part of that it, you know i don't think it, it could have happened with without those links and so i think you got to say that god was at work uh here and bringing all of this about because before then it seemed impossible i remember uh i did a movie in germany back in Dra uh, dragonheart i think it was 1984 and at that time you know reagan was in office he didn't even talk to the soviets until i think 86 but it, I asked Germans there, and I went to East Germany, which looked like World War II had ended yesterday. There was rubble that they just left to remind them. And the, even the Western uh, Germans, nobody believed that the Berlin Wall would ever come down. But then four years later, you know, because of Reagan, it did. Incredible. Pretty miraculous. So the Pope, uh, yeah, the Pope and he were were uh, very close. I don't know how much communication they actually had together, but they were definitely in sync. And um, it was it was an incredible time to be alive in this world. And it's you know, it was God in action. It truly was. Do you? Well, how do you think that this film? Like I noticed a lot of parallels to what was going on then to what's even happening now and yeah i think it's gotten a lot worse clearly but um there's a lot of parallels so how do you think that this film i think this film is coming out at the perfect time and i i do too how do Although you think I, I, I never wanted it to come out during an election year and you know four years ago uh when we were shooting this film it was gosh, it was a different world in a sense. It was very, and that time between there, 
between when we were shooting the film and and now really reminds me of those four years before Reagan became president. There was this feeling of malaise back then uh, that even Jimmy Carter came on and spoke spoke about uh, what was going out on in Iran with the Iran hostages and uh, our our feelings of not being able to do anything about it. Uh, you know, because being afraid of what might happen if we stood up to people, you know, it uh, gas prices and and oil and, and uh, the the inflation that we had, which was um, I remember house loans back then. Uh, I know because I actually bought a house or started to build a house, and it was twenty percent was what the interest rates were back then. It was like believe it or not, and uh, for a time, and uh, Reagan came in. Yeah, you know, the hostages, the Iran hostages were released the very minutes after him taking office. In fact, they got the news that the hostages were released. And that was because the uh, Iran, you know, they walked all over Carter. Uh, you know, as good a man as he was, and he did, he did, he did great uh, with the uh Egypt and Israel making peace. I, I give him such credit for that. He was a good man, but he he didn't have to say, say no to stand up to you know, to, uh, to the Soviets or to the to Iran. And uh, it was really the strength of Reagan. You know, people thought he was a warmonger. You know, a large section thought he was a warmonger that he was going to get us in a in a nuclear war or or whatever, but it was that toughness to stand up and say no that really propelled events to the point to defeat uh, the Soviet Union in this Cold War that was very real and prevented a nuclear war, actually, because of that strength. Well, how do you think that? Because and that's a, that's what's going on today. I do agree with you. It's like what is going on today is uh, uh, has a large part to do with uh, because we don't really listen to to that voice deep down in there that that uh, that gives us strength. You know, it's like the president reflects the american people and we need to come together and unite and that's what happened back then you know we came together and united and that's what you know, gave reagan the strength to do that do you think that this film could uh reignite a the virtue of patriotism in this well country? yeah you know i i, I don't want to build it up too much the, the movie uh, or whatever, uh, you know, because it's entertainment. People should, you know, go to the movie. It, it's, I hope that they're entertained, you know, in the story of, of, of this person's life. But I, I do think that uh, those born before 1985 will have a chance to kind of see and feel. We go to the movies to feel things more than see things, but you'd be able to like feel what this country was like, uh, back then and you know and what it was uh, and how great it really was and those born after 1985 could have possibility to really see and feel what this country can be that's wonderful i hope i i really hope that it does because i we are, america is the hope of the world it still is we just need to get our act together I think you're absolutely right. Tickets are on sale right now uh, at Reagan.movie. Uh, they, they have been group sales, but as of July 4th, everybody uh, will you know, individuals will be able to uh, reserve a ticket. It comes out August 30th at a theater near you.